Well, we get the panic phone call from uh, a homeowner who actually had a three unit uh, multifamily and they were in the process of repairing one full wall of the foundation where one wall had become compromised um, and they needed to basically support the structure of the house and then add in some columns there. And then once the columns were in place, re replace that wall. Um, it was a field stone foundation uh, and then brick above grade. And what had happened was they, in the process of supporting the house, which would have involved digging out uh, close to the wall, the contractor unfortunately undermined the entire field stone foundation on that portion of the wall. And so uh, there's a photo here that you can see. What had happened was that the entire stone structure caved in on this particular foundation wall. Uh, one of the big considerations when we work in older homes is that sometimes you don't know how the walls are gonna react. And we don't know how and what's buried underneath the floor a lot of times. So we have to do some investigative work to figure out where it's safe to dig, where it's not safe to dig, where we can put columns relative to where it's needed and making sure that we're not undermining anything. A lot of times we get uh, columns that end up going close to chimney structures and we can't just dig right up against there because you could cause a chimney collapse and obviously that's connected all the way to the center of the house. In this particular case, uh, we had a complete loss of a wall here and there's a better photo that we can see here where the entire structure about 30 feet left to right has been completely undermined. And what happens is, is that once one stone starts to go, it's almost like a Jenga tower and the whole thing goes with it because that one critical stone that moves could be the entire structure uh, piece, the keystone that holds it all together. You just don't know. Um, so this particular contractor got in really tough shape here, had to do emergency bracing to be able to support this wall. All the tenants on all three family uh, units there had to get evicted, or not evicted, but removed from the property for temporary housing. Uh, this is probably going to take three to four weeks to do a full set of the foundation, to have it inspected and have it, uh, have it looked at by the building department, making sure that it's safe uh, for occupancy. Um, so a single miss and a whoops on a particular contractor uh, or potentially a, uh, a homeowner who decides to do it themselves can have huge consequences here. So making sure that the uh, contractor you're working with is, is experienced in this, making sure that they've done these types of projects before, making sure that they're insured, uh, so that way that there's no uh, liability to you because this is clearly not the homeowner's fault. Um, it's important here because we can really cause, obviously in this case, major damage and uh, major safety concern and really displacing uh, multiple families in, a, in the winter time, which is, is obviously a terrible situation. So, um, but unfortunately, we weren't able to help. The project was beyond what we typically do, uh, but they're going to have to find a contractor to basically rebuild, rebuild the entire side of their foundation wall in a hurry, probably faster than the schedule they anticipated, just to return the property to a safe living condition.